you a bit about ses session length as well, and I'll use my experience to, to, for this. So when I started, I, I did 50 minute sessions and mm -hmm. I worked quite fast as well. So we covered a huge amount of imbalances in those sessions. And what I found was that, you know, we could go to the end for each person. Nobody's body said that's enough. And every time we had an imbalance, um, there were like maybe eight or nine imbalances um, associated with it. There were these huge chunks. And the clients were very happy because they were getting all this work done. But I had a yeah. feeling at some point, well, this isn't right. This isn't optimal. This isn't working yeah. the best way it could. So as a next step, I went down to 40 minutes for a session. I went mm -hmm. from 50 minutes to 40. Uh -huh. and what I found, I found a number of things when that happened. First thing I found was that um, the groups of imbalances became much short, much smaller. So you'd get an imbalance mm -hmm. and maybe just a trapped emotion or just a couple of things associated mm -hmm. with it. Um, people maxed out much earlier in the session. So mm -hmm. maybe after 20 minutes or 30 minutes, their body said that's enough. Um, right. And I was sort of thinking, do you know what? I, I, maybe I'm shortchanging people here. I'm, I'm giving them less. But what I found was that the results that people got from these shorter sessions where fewer um, imbalances were released were much better than the longer yeah. ones with loads. And now I'm wanting yeah. to go down to 30 minutes again. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's, a big, you know sure. it's a big thing to do. Um, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll put it to my clients and see what how they feel about it. But to go down to 30 minutes with, you know, just on the under, it, because it's starting to feel like 40 minutes is too long now. And I wonder yeah. what your thoughts are about this and how you might explain the fact that sometimes releasing fewer things leads to better results. Right, exactly. Well, um, if you um, if you think about the early days of uh, of the U.S., um, back in the 1800s, when in the in the western part of the U.S. we had forests that covered you know, hundreds of millions of acres, um, and they were doing logging. There were people called loggers that would cut down the trees, and they would they'd cut all the branches off of a tree that had been felled, and then they'd roll it down to the river, and they would have all these logs in the river. Hundreds of thousands of logs sometimes would get stuck. And they would form what they called a log jam. Well, there were special loggers whose job was to look at the log jam and identify the what they called the key log. And the key log was one log or sometimes two or three that if removed would allow all the other logs to start flowing down the river again. And this is costing them money, right? Every, you know, every hour that goes by, all the logs are stuck. And sometimes these would, these would go for miles. Well, um, I always try to have a uh, uh, an intention that I want the biggest imbalance. I want I want the biggest. I think of it and sometimes. I, I talk about it as the big tuna, right? What's the biggest fish? What's the biggest imbalance that I can pull out right now and, and correct that will make the most difference for this person? And um, I think that that's an important thing to keep in mind and have that intention. Um, to do because what it does then is uh, uh, sometimes I think you, you pull out the most important thing and then other things can start to flow kind of like the log jam in the river. And so um, I think that what eventually will happen to you is you'll get to probably down to 20 minutes, maybe 10. Um, I used to do my sessions in 20 minutes. And what I would do is I would, I'd watch the clock and I would spend the first five minutes just connecting with the person and finding out what's been going on and, you know, talking about their families and whatever. And then as um, soon as that five minutes was over, we would jump right in. And uh, so really I was doing sessions in 15 minutes, yeah. but I found that that was plenty of time to find those imbalances. And, um, and sometimes when I work on people now, I'll just have an intention uh, of, I want to find the three biggest, most, weighty imbalances that I can find right now. Now, of course, I'm not, I'm not doing the practice. I'm, uh, you know, I don't have a practice anymore. I just work on friends and occasional people. And then of course I'm doing events and things. Um, but, um, but that's what I try to do now is I, I try to look for, at least initially to look for the, the three biggest imbalances that I can find. So I think as time goes on, you'll, you'll find out that, um, you know, 20 minutes, a 20 minute session, Plenty of time, plenty of time. And um, yeah, <laughs> so that's, that's good. It's interesting that you're going through that process. Yeah, it, no, it, it's a really interesting process. So 
when I guess when you clear the logjam, you don't need to clear all of the other stuff because it takes care of itself because the blockage has been re removed. Is that right? Yeah, to, to yeah, to one degree or another, that, that of course is unknown to us. Um, if we have that intention to find the biggest tunas, the biggest imbalances we can find, other things will flow. I mean, sometimes certain trapped emotions are, I think, are are like logs in that log jam. So you, you clear maybe a big trapped emotion and they might actually start to flow down and and um, and release by themselves. I think that that can happen. Just like, you know, if you um, if you go to a massage therapist or you're getting a Reiki treatment or something and all of a sudden you have a spontaneous emotion that's released. Well, um, yeah, that can happen, I think. So, you know, if you think about all the imbalances that a person might have going on, the subconscious mind really truly is like a computer. It's like Google. It's it's far, far beyond Google. It's an, in, incomprehensibly powerful. But um, if we just simply have that intention, um, then I think it can um, it can help us to get things done more efficiently and uh, and help people faster. So why why do you think these these log jams get cleared more easily in the shorter sessions when we're releasing less things than in the longer ones? Where why, why aren't they included in the massive bunch of imbalances we do in the bigger sessions? Well, I think it has to do with the fact that um, that your intention has changed. See, because before your intention was, hey, we got fifty minutes, we got to fill it up, right? Well, the subconscious mind of the person you're working on, they understand that. Yeah. So it's like, well, all right, um, let's let's give them all these various things. But when the time frame changed, now what's your intention? Well, we've got to make hay while the sun shines. We've only got 40 minutes now. So you're going to have to give me more important stuff. That was unspoken, but um, but yet, you know, it's really interesting. Yeah. I mean, you could do sessions in 10 minutes if you wanted to. Yeah, I mean, I, I do with my family in five or ten minutes uh, when I'm working on them. There you go. Um, but then I could I have the luxury of doing them every day, whereas with a client, um, it's not so not so much. Um, no, that is that's really interesting. It's, it's, and, and I guess mm -hmm. it's that it's that connection between the healer and the client's subconscious mind that is direct. Yeah. Because you know, whatever we think, the healer's going to be thinking. If it's a fifty-minute session and it ends after thirty minutes, the healer's going to be thinking, "Oh no, I'm shortchanging them. I was thinking that." And the client's going to be thinking, oh, no, I've been shortchanged. I've paid for a 50 minute session and it's ending after half an hour. Whereas right. if both of that, it, where it's reframed in both cases, then it sort of maybe clears the channel between the minds to be able to come up with the really the most important stuff. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, if you. Um, um, I think 20 minutes is about the ideal time frame, yeah. you know, ultimately, you'll probably get to that point. And um, in 20 minutes, I never had a problem finding whatever needed to be found. And uh, and it's, it's just interesting. You're moving in that direction. So keep me posted. Let me know how that goes. I will do. That's great. I had a very severe back pain three months ago. And I was bedridden for a, quite a very long time. I used to scream, cry out of pain. With the second session, it was completely gone. Even with a painkiller, I didn't have uh, such relief.